everyone, Tim the Plain Man here and welcome to Plain Time Artificial Intelligence Edition featuring this, the Hollybro Pixhawk 6X with the Jetson Nano Baseboard. This is so exciting, so exciting. Now for those of you who are interested in my plane videos and flying, this is a geek video um, and I won't hold it against you if you click off. But for those of you who are into autopilot and artificial intelligence and computers and the, the amazing things you can do, you, we might be able to do with that. Well, stick around. Okay, I just realized that plane was right out of the top of my head. So I just decided to move for that. What we have here is the Hollybro Jetson Nano baseboard with the Pixhawk 6X flight controller. Now this is not an extensive review of it. I'll put a link in the description to all the specifications of this amazing board. But what I can tell you already is it's got one of my favorite things. It's got ethernet. So this Pixhawk 6X is internally connected via ethernet to a switch, a network switch. And here's a network uh, IJ45 network connector, standard ethernet connector. And there's also another network plug here, uh, a different um, form factor. And internally connected to that switch is connected to this Jetson Nano artificial intelligence processor. Now this is the low end board. It has four gigabytes of RAM and 20 tops of AI processing power. That's pretty amazing, but if you go for the higher end board, you can get 40 tops. And it's all fully integrated on the board. This, these USB ports here connect to the Nano. This USB port here connects to the Jetson, to the Pixhawk. And via this Ethernet switch, and I'll put another link in the description, or maybe a card here, or is it here, that will link you to my other video where I show you how amazingly fast a network connection to the Pixhawk can do something simple like downloading parameters. And if we can do downloading parameters like that, well, what other kinds of communications do you think we can get going with the Pixhawk? Well, the other thing that I've already set up and I plan to test is uh, logging, automatic logging from the flight controller to the Pixhawk, to the Jetson. And the Jetson Nano, this Nano, if I, if I got the math right, and I think I do, it has a 500 gigabyte internal NVMe SSD, which means there's lots of space for stuff like RE pilot logs and huge amounts of space for AI workloads um, and uh, trained models. So that AI processing on here, well, the, the, con the, the, the possibilities are endless, but some interesting hints to what we can do here are that there are two camera connectors here that connect to the Jetson. So the Jetson can take camera input. And if I do have it lying around on my desk here somewhere, and I know that I do, here it is. This package comes with a uh, 4K camera that can be connected to the Jetson so that you could run something like, and what I intend to try, YOLO VX AMO models that can process the input video from a camera like this or via ethernet to a uh, IP connected camera, something like the Topotec cameras that I've been trying out or the C cameras like the ZR10 or the A8 Mini, which I can uh, will also try because it should be able to, um, you should be able to take an RTSP feed into the Jetson. So I feel like I'm rambling a bit. I've done the highlight. This is amazing. I will be doing more on this. Um, I'm going to try it on the bench first, get a bunch of things kind of figured out. And then uh, in the next little while, I'll be putting this in a plane with a camera and seeing what kind of AI stuff I can do on this amazing piece of gear from Hollybro. And I do want to thank Hollybro for sending this to me. Um, it was uh, basically a sample. And as a member of the ID Pilot development team, I will be uh, thoroughly testing this um, and reporting to all of you about what the capabilities of this amazing piece of hardware might be. 
Tim the Plain Man, over and out.